We're taking a look outside at snow early on this morning. It's not much, but it plays a big role in your morning commute. Yeah, your morning commute might be a little bit slick and slippery, but the longer the morning goes, the better things are looking. The CDC is keeping track of how all 50 states are stacking up in terms of how effective their vaccine distribution is going. I'll tell you why Idaho is ranked in the bottom three in one of those very important metrics. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Well, it's a song that's heating up music charts around the world, and it's all thanks to a viral trend on TikTok. This morning, we're asking social media and music professionals, why do certain songs go viral? Up with Crim begins now. Well, thanks for being with us here at 7.30 on our Monday morning. The Kansas City Chiefs are headed back to the Super Bowl for the second year in a row. Now they will face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And you'll recognize these same quarterbacks. It's once again Pat Mahomes versus Tom Brady. Now you can watch the game on Sunday, February 7th on Creme 2. My favorite part about the Super Bowl, of course, the snacks. So I'm already planning oh. ahead for that. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, though, today we have team coverage across Spokane. This morning, Joshua Robinson, he's live at the Spokane Arena this morning. That is where a mass COVID-19 vaccination site is set to open this week. But of course, you see there's snow on the ground. Nicole Hernandez will be joining us with a look at your morning commute. And for right now, we want to check in with Jeremy Legoo. What is Mother Nature doing this morning? Oh, whatever she wants. I guess that's every day, but this morning it's a little bit of light snow and cold temperatures, and that combination means the little bit of snow that we did squeeze out is making for a slick commute with temperatures hanging out right in the mid 20s early on this morning. Expect those snowy roads to stick around. Really, you got to get onto those arterials to find a break in it, but don't take my word for it. We'll get to Nicole in just a bit. 25 here in Spokane, 26 in Deer Park, 27 in Sandpoint, teens in western Montana, but right around 30 elsewhere as you work your way out to the west. Still a little bit of light snow coming down, but for the most part, we are pretty much done. You're going to catch a few more flurries, but by this afternoon, it's all about the clouds, and that's how we stay heading into Tuesday. Not until overnight Tuesday into Wednesday do we see our next round of showers move in, and that one is likely snow with temperatures staying on the cool side. In fact, as we get into the afternoon, we're hovering near freezing 32, maybe 33 degrees for a short, brief moment later on today, and that comes with plenty of cloud cover. But I said, don't take my word for it. Let's send things out to Nicole Hernandez, who's outside telling us just what it's like out there. Yeah, Jeremy, you are exactly right. Cold and snowy. There's no doubt about it. You can see here we got a good little dust in the snow that is causing a good amount of trouble on the roads. Of course, it's, you know, kind of pretty here on the sidewalks. We've got some people shoveling sidewalks, but you're really going to want to be careful with driving this morning because check this out. You can see the roads have a good amount of snow on them. Early this morning, it was much worse than it is now. We've had a good amount of cars going over the roads trying to start and melt that, but you can see as those cars are taken off, they're having a little bit of traction issues getting a hold on the road. So you just want to make sure you're giving yourself the time to be careful, go slow, give yourself room between you and other drivers. Of course, things we all know about driving in the snow, but always good reminders, of course. Also, because of that snow, you're going to want to give yourself time to wipe off the snow on your windshield as well. You can see all these cars driving around have the remnants of that on their cars as well. Um, but another big thing you want, are going to want to be careful of is when you're driving on I-90 is that moisture is kicking back up with the speed. So you're going to want to be careful of visibility issues. Make sure you're ready to use those windshield wipers. Uh, and of course, I'll say it again, make sure you're going slow driving this morning. Even though roads are starting to look better, especially some of those less driven on roads are still slick and slippery. I'll send things back to you guys. All right, Nicole, thank you. 734 now. This morning, health experts are working to open a mass COVID-19 vaccination clinic here in Spokane. Washington Governor Jay Inslee's goal is to vaccinate 45,000 people per day. Now, this is across four mass vaccination clinics around the state. So this morning, Joshua Robinson is joining us live now with more on the vaccine status right now in both Washington and in Idaho. Good morning, Joshua. 
Hey, Jen, good morning. Yeah, the plan here at the Spokane Arena is for that vaccine site to be inside of the arena so that everyone can still get tested effectively and safely outside here in the parking lot. And if all goes according to plan, Chaz Health officials should receive another round of the vaccine and time to be able to open up on Wednesday. And of course, if that happens, then you should be able to go on the Chaz Health website and sign up to get your vaccine dose as early as Wednesday. Of course, we'll keep you updated if any of that changes. But at the same time, Idaho and Washington are also falling behind other states in terms of how effective their vaccine distribution plan is going this morning. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the latest CDC data and see where the states stack up in terms of how effectively and quickly and efficiently they are getting out vaccine doses. So as of Saturday, Washington ranked 14th out of all 50 states with more than 846 thousand doses distributed to the state. Now that would make sense because that's about where Washington's population ranks throughout the country. But it's not just about how many doses we've gotten. It's about how many of those doses have been administered to people who need them. So let's shift the data a bit. Now we're going to look at the top 25 states in terms of the percentage of their doses that have been administered to patients. So some states are actually doing very well, like New Mexico, both of the Dakotas, and even West Virginia that has just over 80% of their doses handed out. But in Washington, it's all the way over to the right side of your screen. As you can see, they're ranked 25 out of 50 with only 51.6% of all doses actually given out. Therefore, plenty of room for improvement. In Idaho, it's a much different story as we look at the bottom 25 states in terms of the most vaccines distributed overall. Idaho comes in at 40th out of all 50 states. And again, that would make sense because again, that's about where Idaho's population ranks in the country. But the percentage of those doses that have actually been handed out in Idaho is also in the bottom 25 states. 30th out of all 50 with 45.6% of their overall vaccine doses administered. That's shy of just about 86,000 doses handed out in Idaho. Compare that to more than 436,000 doses handed out in Washington. Obviously, I know it's a huge difference in population between Washington and Idaho. So really the only fair way we can look at this data is by leveling the playing field and looking at how vaccines are distributed on a per 100,000 people basis. So now we're looking at the top 25 states when it comes to how many doses of vaccine have been distributed per 1,000 people in a population. If you can't check it out, you can see neither Washington or Idaho are there. It's because they're both in the bottom 25 states. As you can see, Washington ranks 38th out of all 50 states in terms of the vaccine distribution per 100,000 people. Not great, but Idaho is ranked 48th, better than only Nevada and South Carolina. Now, coming up in our 8 o'clock hour of Up With Krim on the CW22, we're going to take a closer look at the vaccine plan here in Spokane County in terms of who qualifies and who is eligible to receive that vaccine, as well as the process that's in place so you can get that vaccine as quickly and effectively as possible. And if you'd like the latest information we have on vaccines, all you have to do is text the word vaccine to 509-448-2000. I'll send it back to you, Jen. All right, Joshua, thank you so much. I know a lot of people have questions about that. I can see those questions coming in, people looking for more information. So we're going to stay on top of that story all week long until that vaccination clinic, of course, opens. So uh, you can look forward to that coming up this week on Up With Krem. Here at 738 this morning, the Boeing 737 MAX jet is making a return to SeaTac International Airport. Coming up at 8, when the jet will be back in service for commercial airlines. And so many of the songs you hear on the radio right now may have come from social media. We wanted to know why certain songs capture so many people's attention and go viral. So we asked professors at WSU how things are going viral. Oh, that's an amazing story. You're going to want to stick around. You're also going to want to stick around because today we're cool. Our snow today sticks around and there is more of it in the forecast. I'll walk you through what to expect in the middle of the week.